from the bottom, now I'm blowing up. I need the energy all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. I need the energy all the way up. Come from the bottom, now I'm blowing up. I need the energy all the way up. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. And tonight, we'll see the Houston Rockets as they go up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. Hello, everyone. With Chris Webber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan. We'll be hearing from our Hall of Famer on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Marcus Smart stands six foot three, but he said, I can guard bigs. So I start... <laughs> Stretch six. I love that. Great stuff, David. Thank you. And the Houston Rockets starting five. Abdul Jabbar is out there with AI. And it's ABC. Then there's A Train. And it's Captain Clutch in at the three slot. And for Boston, they've got Bryant. C out there with Pack. And it's Big Daddy. And it's House in at the three spot. Some talent for sure in the backcourt tonight. Greg, did, did it ever add anything for you playing across from another top level guard? Oh, it all raises the stakes and you want to rise to that challenge but in the end it all comes back to winning as a team the kick out to Matthews Houston moving it around here's Captain Clutch draws contact on the shot and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line and once he got to the 10 I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Celtics on offense. It's a five-point game. Matthews with the steal. There's Captain Clutch. No good with the layup. Pass to Kobe. Connects from three-point range. Yeah, you got to know Brian looking to shoot as soon as he gets the ball. The D can't give him any daylight. Passes it to Captain Clutch. He kicks to Junior. Outside Matthews. No good from outside. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage. That's a big daddy. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for the Celtics, number five. At the line, and he makes the first. Shot. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. A train, the pass to Matthews. Here's Captain Clutch. Back to Matthews. Now the pass to Captain Clutch. Just five to shoot. A three-pointer off the mark. And so Bryant will bring it up for Boston. The shot by House is no good. A train, the pass to Abdul Jabbar. Got a piece of it. Knocked away. To the inside. Here's Peck, and it's blocked. And he recovers it. And he comes up with the deuce. If you're just tuning in, we played about two and a half minutes here in the first. Now, Junior. Here's Kobe. Pass to Cotton. The three. That goes and go, and he's 0 of 1 from the field. Here's Captain Clutch. And they call the eight second violation. Too much time getting it up court. And the Celtics making a change here. Tatum's checked in. The Rockets also changing it up. O'Neal's checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Chamberlain comes in for AI. And Junior subbed in for Matthews. Ball's knocked loose. And stolen by Junior. Trying to end the drought. And Junior throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, 
fellas. That's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. Yeah, going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. So it's the Celtics now. Following the score by Houston, here's Pack. And the three ball is good. Pack's got five. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Going inside. And Junior throws it down hard. Oh, he's put on a show for these fans. I can't believe he pulled that one out in the course of an actual game. Nice job capturing the moments on the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Right wing. Pop pass to Bryant. And Bryant slams it in. And how about the communication between teammates on that alley -oop? And that's what you need to pull that thing off. Terrell, the pass to Chamberlain. Now, Junior takes a three. The basket good off the assist from Chamberlain. Three. A-Train's got his third basket of the night right there. Wow, he's a confident shooter from three-point range. I mean, even with the D hovering near him. Pass to Pat, and he jams it with authority. Oh, the timing couldn't have been better on that assist. Here's Chamberlain. Good for the basket. Whoa. Starting off one for one with that shot. But, but here's the problem. Now, no one's got the strength to move Will off the spot, and no one has the height to challenge the shot at its point of release. Three-second difference between shot clock and game clock. They grab their own miss. No good from Shaq. Austin's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. And stolen by Junior. Jumps up, and Junior throws it down. Ooh, just powered it down with both hands. You know he's not going to mess that one. Oh, no, not this fella. He is a superb finisher. Here's Big Daddy. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Houston ball. Rocket substitution. Good if it goes. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Rockets ahead. They're up by two. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. been a fairly close game through the first quarter and we'll see what happens here in the second and a breakdown here guys the hustle stats for the Rockets they're setting the tone early with their defense keeping the pressure on and taking chances and they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. and also defensively they've been able to cause some turnovers tonight and, and that also builds confidence and gives you momentum and so Miller will bring it up for Boston Trailing by two. This is how the floor looks for the Rockets starting the second. Rockets. They've got ABC. Junior's out there with ABC. Then there's Chamberlain. And it's Wall in at the point guard position. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals three times over four seasons. But last season, injuries and COVID protocols knocked them down a peg. Ownership and management are patiently staying the course. With the young star talent, this team still has room to improve from within. Guys, back to you. Well, they're upside, and a lot of people's view remain. David, thanks. Horford. Oh, that's blocked. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Shaken Bates checked in for Boston. And the Rockets making a change here as well. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Chamberlain. Off the inbound, it's tipped, and they recover it. No, I mean, what I appreciate about Horford is his unselfishness. I mean, he brings a veteran team first mindset to the table. And an area that's often underappreciated for Horford, he's a fantastic passer. Nothing flashy. Great vision in the post or at the top of the key. And he just keeps it moving and finds the open man. And down the road, Greg, which current player might make for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well. But I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. 
Abdul Jabbar dishes the wall. Abdul Jabbar kicks to Junior. Driving the lane, and he goes big with the dunk right over Al Horford. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Now, here is Miller. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. A floater and the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. Plays it up and banks it in. Abdul Jabbar's got the lead up to six now for the Rockets. And don't let the lean Boston. physique fool you. Kareem with the strength to finish through contact as well as anybody who's ever played. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. Well, it's been an express lead to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Four rotations. I mean, slow help. It's just not enough toughness on the interior. They've got a lot to talk about. The great ones checked in for Al Horford. Matthews, he's checked in for Houston. And that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. The great one passes to Williams. Here's the great one, and that one is hammered home. You know, I think Williams has a, a terrific future. A, a charismatic, likable kid who can be unselfish. To wow, him. hammering it in! And this sort of awesome dunk is one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game. Well, there's a swagger out there. You can see it on the court that they possess and are not afraid to show it either. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. For Boston, they have looked good at the line. They're perfect in four attempts. At the line for your Celtics. At the line with one shot. That free throw good for Miller. Rockets leading by three. Here's Matthews, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. You know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. And he's got his first free throw of the game. Taking two shots. Free throw, good. Matthews. Both free throws, good from Matthews. It, it, it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Here's Miller, and Miller throws it down home. Oh, what incredible precision. Brown cutting the D to pieces in his pass. To the paint. Pass to ABC. Let's it go. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. Here's the great one. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Williams. The great one's got it all tied up now for the Celtics. Two minutes. Matthews against Griffin. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Matthews into the lane. It's deflected. More good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Driving to the basket. And the dunk by Abdul Jabbar. And not much you can do defensively once Kareem gets the ball in that close. Too much height, too much talent. For Boston, they've gotten exactly half their shots to go down here in the second. Five to ten. And it's slammed in by Williams. Look, he may not be thought of as big for a second, but his ability to go vertical is your plays big. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. 
So Boston ends up going with a new group. And then for Houston, Shaq is checked in for Abdul-Jabbar. Captain Clutch comes in for Junior. And it's A-Train in for ABC. Here's Captain Clutch, guarded by Tatum. And the shot goes in. The assist. Boy, have they gotten hot here in the second quarter. No wonder they're in front. Bryant with the bounce pass. Here's Peck, and a strong finish with two hands. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here's A-Train, and Junior throws it down hard. He got fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by two. And Junior throws it down hard. And how about just floating to the rim on that slam? Boy, when he gets up, I mean, he gets up. Kobe can't hit. And for the Rockets, they're shooting 64%. Beautiful all-around play by this offense. And Junior throws it down. And he just dangles from the bucket after sending that one through. And you can see which team has the swagger right now. And Bryant wide open. He shoots good on the three-point shot. Kobe's got eight points. You know, some scouts thought Tatum had tunnel vision looking only for his own shot. But he's more about team. And that'll do it for the first half. A competitive game so far. Rockets lead by three. And don't go away after the break. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. They led by two after the first. They gained a little ground there in the second quarter. Kenny, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, first and foremost, you got to take care of the basketball. And that means playing with poise, making good decisions, and not giving away any possessions. They did a great job of that in the first half. And over to Sean. And that does it for our halftime show. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. A-Train has been sensational. Well, he left his mark on that first half with his quick hands. Great sense of timing to pile up the steals. Yeah, he's busting his tail, making his presence known. A great job defensively so far. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. On the court for the Celtics. Z out there with Pat. Then there's Shake and Bake. That's Big Daddy. And it's Bryant in at the one. Tipped away. Junior kicks to Matthews. The pass to Captain Clutch. There's the killer two-handed slam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. You're going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. That one good for two. His offensive skill set is off the charts. He has more than a few ways to punish it. Rockets leading by five. A train the pass to Captain Clutch. This one for three. And out of bounds as the Celtics gain possession. Yeah, with no defensive pressure at all, you've got to be able to make that play. Chamberlain's checked in for Houston. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. There's the lob to the hoop. Number five. For Houston, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. A train, the pass to Captain Clutch. Baseline try. Chamberlain kicks to AI. To the wing right side. Just five on the clock. From the arc. And no good. Celtics trail by three. Great offensive performance they're putting on. And guys, we call that the zone because that's where they are right now. They are in a zone, and I'm sure they feel unstoppable. Here he goes, and it's Junior missing. Boston's gone four or six from outside the arc tonight. Matthews with the steal. And a wide open look for Junior. Chamberlain with the basket. Chamberlain. How about the pressure they're able to now start to apply, taking advantage of every miscue? And passes to Pat. Oh! And an out of this world reverse jam. Woo. Oh, and he got 
fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact. So a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. For Houston, they have yet to miss from the free throw line. They're three for three. And some changes here for the Celtics. Mason Tatum comes in for Z. And Jalen Brown subbed in for Shake and Bake. Houston with a big group substitution here. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Chamberlain. Christian Wood comes in for AI. Junior's checked in for Captain Clutch. And John Wall subbed in for A train. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. Jason Tatum. That's his first That's foul. His first. The determining first ground foul. ceiling. I mean, how good of an outside shooter can he become? I mean, I, to me, that's, that's the only question. But, uh, he may have already exceeded expectations. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. Now Horford's checked in for Pat. And a switch here also for Houston. ABC's checked in for Matthews. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. We talk so much about Tatum's influence, Chris, at the offensive end. But he's become an impact defender as well. Instincts, limp. You see he's got added muscle. I mean, Kevin, uh, that's what the best players do at this position. Yeah. Think about it. Rock, Kawhi, KG. All lockdown defenders when they put their minds to it. Look, the handles of Wall combined with the speed is incredible. He's easily slicing and dicing the deep. Here's Kobe. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Bryant's got six in the quarter. And how's that? Four move, the killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. Ball against Tatum. That's good, and it's Bryant with the assist. Bryant's got six assists here tonight. Wow, nice touch on the mid-range there. Tatum's a player who scores everywhere on the court. Terrell, the pass to ABC. Now, here's Junior. He's got six. Trills the three-pointer. Terrell's got nine. And they've got to talk to you, each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make a pay. Got a hand on it. Here's Wood. Here's Wall. Back to Wood. Pass to Terrell. Let's it go from deep. A rebound by the Celtics. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little. Then execute your offense. Here's Wall. And the slam dunk by Wall. Wall. Oh, man, we've seen it so many times. Wall lures his man into a steal, takes it to the open court, and finishes himself. And as we end the third quarter, a great game. Both teams playing well. Rockets ahead, up by four. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. But it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. Well, this has been a great contest so far, and I imagine the fourth quarter could have even more action in store for us. And so in the game for the Rockets. All out there with Junior. Then it's Kareem. And there's Captain Clutch. And it's O'Neal in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Rocket substitution, number 35. Eight train. Here's ABC. And he goes right over Jalen Brown and sends it down. And how about O'Neal zipping passes over to his guys, using that height to find open teammates. And here's Miller. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Six point game. Inside. Here's Tatum. That's tipped. Now he oh. Oh, you gotta 
respect the skills of Raw. He's a flashy ball handler who is highly creative. That's tipped and stolen by Junior. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. Personal foul. Breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Houston. Well, they played a heads-up brand of basketball this entire game. And they've got the steals to prove. Yeah, and also the way they've been able to generate points off of the turnovers that they forced tonight has also helped. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Pat comes in for Tatum. And Shake and Bake subbed in for Jalen Brown. Pass to Cotton. Here's Pat. Here's Big Daddy covered by Wall. Here's Big Daddy, and he uses the glass on the lane. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but defensively, neither side has been able to adjust. And that's reflected in the scores. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. Oh, and with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope. He, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board. And I, I don't mean style points. The tray. Rebound collected by Cotton. Celtics trail by nine. Here's Big Daddy. And it's Boston with another. Now a timeout called by Houston. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Yeah, I, I like the chess match that's going on here. He's team trying to find and exploit the favorable matchup on the floor. Celtics making a switch here. Lions checked in. And then for Houston, AI is checked in for ABC. And it's Matthews in for John Wall. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys, here's the message Stephen Silas gave to his team. He said, I want us to play as though we're behind. We're good when we play with urgency. We're bad when we become complacent. Don't become complacent. Let's go. Guys? Thank you, David. And there's the eight-second call as they can't get it across half-court in time. In the second half, they haven't taken care of the basketball. Simply put, more turnovers now that could hurt them later. Celtics trail by seven. Pope loose. So another turnover for Houston. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Houston. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Here's Big Daddy. Sweet little floater. Big Daddy's got six in the quarter. Oh, even from that range, the floater is one of the toughest shots in the game. And here's Matthews from the arc. Rebound collected by Cotton. Cotton's got his fifth rebound in this one. Stolen. And there's the drive. It's good. He's not going to back off when he's down. I mean, he's got a chance to attack the basket. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Houston leading by seven. Here's Kobe. Count that one as his seventh make in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yeah, you can tell they love to get out and run when the opportunity is there. There's a minute 40 left in the fourth quarter. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Here's O'Neal. Now the feed to AI. And AI throws it down. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. You're going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrates to do that. Yeah, I love seeing Brian just get up and go for it. His leaping ability never ceases to impress. We've got 108 left in the game. Six on the shot clock. 
Here's Captain Clutch. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Abdul Jabbar is checked in for O'Neill. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by five. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Robert Sexton wants a free t-shirt. present the New Balance player of the game, Adrian. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field is flawless. And the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good position, and boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. Here's Adrian. There's 42 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Lock at six. Outside Matthew. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possession. I mean, turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth. 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they can count on him to make some shots. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Here's Houston now. Boston foul. They've led by as many as 11 points. And an intentional foul right there. Team foul. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. Two shots. And so he drops them both. It's a three-point game. Comes through big. Now they can put everything they have into guard because they do. Here's Big Daddy. He's covered by Matthews. Good! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. So it's the Celtics now. Here is House. Here's Big Daddy. So it's a narrow victory for the Rockets, pulling it out for the W. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks. With John Wall, John, it sure looks like the chemistry is coming together. What is the bond like with your teammates? Uh, we enjoy playing with each other. Uh, we have great chemistry. We all work hard, and we know how much we mean to each other, how much we work every day, and uh, we just try to keep getting better each game. Well, the work is paying off, John. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.